Greetings, suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel and you resonate with my energy, go ahead and hit that subscription button. We would love to have you here with us on this healing journey. Now, this is a collective reading. It belongs to all signs. This may or may not resonate with you. Parts may resonate, parts may not. Take what's where you leave the rest, all right? This could resonate with somebody in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a boss, a Passover loved one, a child, a grandparent. You get the gist, right? Even an ex-lover, all right? Keep in mind, if you see your sign, that means it either applies to you or applies to someone thinking of you, right? So, I've already done my meditation and called in appropriate guidance, protection, and coverage needed. Let's get this real quick reading. Reading out all the information that you need will be in the description box below. Now, <laughs> one of the things that I heard before I turned on this camera is somebody got selective memory. Mm -hmm, yep, 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 yep. They got selective memory. They, they acting like they don't know why. They going through all the karma that they going through. Now, yesterday, after I turned off the camera, I said, you know, I'm just going to write this down and I'm going to address this when I uh, go back on to address the collective, right? So one of the things that I'm being guided to speak about is reincarnation. So my guys want me to state that reincarnation means whatever lesson you have not learned before in a past life or in its current life. When you transition, and transition means pass over, go to another realm, death, okay? You will learn in your next lifetime. So you reincarnated. We don't know what you're going to be reincarnated as. We don't know. So a lot of times... When we're dealing with people that have victim mentality, they have no recollection or they claim they have no recollection of ever doing anyone any wrong. However, the simple the simple fact that we are casted into these bodies means we have a lesson to learn. All right. Wrong or right, we have a lesson to learn, which brings us to the next message. OK. Um, we have some immature souls here. So this is why we have so much turmoil going on, victimization, uh, shady, evil eye, all this. We got we got immature souls that, that are not developed yet. And what happens when you mix immature souls with old souls? It becomes chaotic, right? Next message is narcissists are empaths. Oosh, y'all not gonna like that. Don't turn that off. Don't 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 turn don't turn it off. Don't turn off the information because I got to talk. I got to talk. I got to tell you something. Narcissists are empaths. They have the same skills as empaths. However, they use them in different ways. That's why they can smell you. They can smell your vulnerability. They can smell your insecurities. They can smell your lack of self worth. This is why you have to heal, right? Because oftentimes we think, oh, we have the same, we went through the same, we come from the same, and we know absolutely we do not. Opposites attract in this realm. Why do, we, why do opposites attract in this realm? Opposites attract for lessons. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Opposites attract to get you to go towards your energetic match, regardless if it's a platonic or if it's a romantic situation. Yeah. Uh-huh. <clears throat> There's some, some rewards happening here. This is karma. Now, while you're on the upside of karma, the person that you're thinking about may not be, or vice versa. Who knows? You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but it doesn't necessarily have to be, right? Somebody's in their thoughts about you, or you are in your thoughts. Some of you may need to meditate on what you're going to say before you say it. Their house is all about communication. Some of you may be receiving some sort of message via text, email, um, UPS. I don't know. There's some sort of message coming through you, to you, or for you. This message could come from the spirit realm, you know, from your ancestors, right? By the new beginning. Some of you knew you had, or your person knew they had to end something, all right? So they may have went through a lesson of greed, 
with Jupiter being here because Jupiter is talking about expansion. It's talking about growth. Some of you, you know, the lesson in what you went through was nothing in excess. That includes trauma bonding people, uh, manipulating people. Okay. Love bombing people, using people, nothing in excess. Don't be greedy. You know what I'm saying? Some of you may be having stomach issues. Some of you could be pregnant. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Somebody's deeply in their emotions now, depending on what side of the karmic wheel you are on, because this is definitely be a, definitely about you using your intuition about something, a lesson that you learned in the past. Okay. This lesson allowed you to learn who you are. This lesson allowed you to go within. Something could be happening this next, I believe, solar eclipse. It may be in Cancer, but I'm not sure. So this may resonate. <clears throat> with that energy I'm also hearing I can hear it in the air I can feel it in the air I can hear it in the air child what the hell somebody's sensing something you could also you know you may you may hear it in the air <laughs> you may hear it in the air if you got some crows or ravens and birds caulking and cooing outside your window you could definitely hear it in the air somebody wants to bring balance you could have Libra in your chart Sagittarius Cancer you know it really doesn't matter but for some of you that may not have those signs, this is about balancing your emotions, right? So you learn something. You gain some knowledge in the past. This knowledge could have been about what you want, how you want to maneuver. This could be a knowledge about a partnership. This could be a new child coming. Some of you are dreaming of fishes. I don't know where that came from, but it just did. And they say if you dream of fish, that means somebody's pregnant, Okay. Somebody could be sensing that they are um, receiving some karmic retribution on the flip side. Somebody could be going into jail or someone could be um, imbalanced, right? Some of you are feeling the, the collective energy, right? So, yeah. It's just saying for you to stay in that energy of abundance, you see inside, you got, you paying attention to the uh, synchronicities, I'm also hearing reciprocity. Somebody knew that they lacked. They lacked when it came down to you. This was a love situation. This was something that you had to learn. Regardless if you're a cancer or not, you're very much in your feelings. Some of you are heavily affected by the moon. Some of you could have a child on the full moon. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Some of you could have cancer in your moon sign, as well as your north node and your south node. And Venus or any other sign that you see here. But this is about wealth, prosperity, and I'm also hearing respect. Okay. I feel like <clears throat> somebody's coming out with some sort of authentic work here. Something that's new. A new project, possibly. You could be getting a new job. And, that, you know, definitely somebody could be receiving a call back from a job. This could have something to do again with your love life or a child. Somebody's projected some insecurities on you or you were to them. I feel like you had a little bit of rose-colored glasses energy happening surrounding your situation. For some of you, this could have something to do with your children, right? Oh, well, okay. They want me to go with this one. <laughs> Somebody said, get the fuck on. Why is Jupiter here? Why is Jupiter here? <sighs> oh, yeah. Somebody definitely doing magic. I'm just going to tell you. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. It could be a Sagittarius doing magic or any other sign that you see in here. But it's going to be 50-50, so don't get your panties in a bunch. Don't get butt hurt. Virgo represents the magician, and it also represents the hermit. Okay, so I feel like you uh, you manifested an abundant life. However, someone's trying to destroy that. Okay, you may gain some knowledge of some slander, some spell work. However, ha 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 ha, my eye is here. Libra energy balancing the scales. Oh, Uranus here. So if somebody's sending out toxic negative energy, if they're lying on you, they're getting caught instantly. If they're sending black magic spells, witchcraft, anything distorted of a lower vibration is being sent back. This is a third party, somebody possibly contracted to come into your life. This is a concubine. This is the side piece, the side dude. This is somebody that's for show. Okay. 
Somebody could have manipulated someone into a partnership. Now somebody feels like they're being pulled in two different directions. This came out of one of the individual signs also. Can't think of which one because I did a lot. You know what I'm saying? Why is cancer here? What is this you feel? What is this you need to use your intuition about? Balancing the scales. Okay. I, I feel like somebody is going to go into labor on the full moon. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. We have the temperance here, which is Sagittarius energy. This is also about you balancing your energy within. Combining, combining your masculine and your feminine to like develop this abundance here on the physical plane with this with the earth being here Taurus Virgo Capricorn this is about stability this is about your mental health your physical health I keep hearing balancing the scales this is high vibrational energy something wants to come in um you know I feel like somebody is watching you or watching your projects more than you they're trying to stay in the obstacles but it's it, they're falling short is what I'm hearing this person could yeah they're trying to do something spiritually to you. This could also be somebody suffering from some sort of addiction. If that is somebody suffering from addiction, every, they're losing everything here. You may have tried to warn this person with the high priestess, but I feel like for some of you, this is something that's happened, happening unbeknownst to you. This is a secret here. This is something that you may not have. You may not be able to see firsthand with the moon card being here. There's some sort of illusion Someone's trying to present to you. However, uh, there's going to be some karmic retribution with Libra being here. You're going to end up balancing the scales. Your finances is going to come all full circle. All right. Some of you, you're, you're coming to the ass end of a test. Ass end. Okay, this test was, was presented to you to help you um, get to know yourself better. Better crap. Better... Um, Cultivate your craft is what I'm hearing with the group world card here. This could be somebody going to jail. Their hands is tied, right? And this could also be somebody obsessing with you, trying to um, bind you to them energetically. You keep cutting those cords. You keep cutting them. All right. But I do feel the energy of somebody being weak. Somebody could have a, um, <clears throat> alcoholism some sort of addictive personality obsession somebody's lost their spiritual coverage here and it happened very quickly okay this person refused to learn their lesson i feel like they're losing a lot here okay you may have prophesied this that's what i'm hearing this could have something to do with a masculine this masculine is in their thoughts here this person didn't listen to you okay now, this doesn't does it, this could be something plutonic Somebody could have told a friend something and they didn't listen. Okay, you could have told this friend about a partnership that wasn't no good for you, but they still decided to stay. As a matter of fact, they even cut you off. For some of you, they stopped talking. That's that Leo energy. Some, some, Somebody, there was an argument here. Okay, you may have tried to tell someone that maybe someone was cheating, someone was doing something they shouldn't have been doing, and this person got upset with you. They could have ghosted you. They could have stopped talking to you. All right. I feel like this person stayed in a partnership for finances or for what it looks like on the surface. They could also have a child with this person. Why is Virgo here? Why is Virgo? Mm hmm Hold on. My apologies. Yeah. Somebody somebody got themselves into in a in a turferful. Turferful. Turferful? <laughs> I don't know who. Somebody's uh, auntie, I don't know, I'm, I'm channeling some Jewish, some Jewish lady, I don't know, she liked to say Tverkel, I have no, absolutely no understanding of where, of what that is, I, I'm going to have to look it up, okay, so, so uh, you may have gotten yourself hooked up with some sort of warlock, wizard, magician, okay, somebody that had their heart space closed off. Okay, this person could be trying to, you know, put a cord on you. <clears throat> For some of you, this is a marriage that someone could be stuck in. But sacrifice, this person could have actually tried to sacrifice you. For those of you that know you're dealing with someone 
of the underworld. So someone that has very dark energy. They could even be a Luciferian or a Satanist. <clears throat> that's not for everybody. But you definitely have somebody going within. This person gains some sort of inner knowledge about themselves, right? With Jupiter being here. There was some sort of lesson that they needed to learn. This person went in hermit mode, so I feel like this person may have ghosted you. Why is the Earth card in reverse? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Plot twist. So somebody gets a wake-up call, okay? This could be something about your child's father. If you are a female, if you are a male, this is about your child's mother and the stability. Somebody feels off balance. <clears throat> Somebody could have had a one-night stand with this higher self in this cup uh, in reverse, right? Somebody had a responsibility that they did not, okay? This person could have lied to you if you are the actual person that they want to be with. This person could have been born in the 60s or the 70s. All right. This person wants a rebirth with you, but I don't feel like you want to deal with this person, especially if they're a Taurus, Virgo, and a Capricorn, and you are a Cancer, or they have that in their chart. Somebody has a secret affinity for you, a secret love or passion for you, but you don't want this person. Why is higher self here in reverse? So this person, somebody could be trying to sleep with you for money. Uh, they want somebody to take care of them. For some of you, this is a masculine. For some of you, it's a, it's a female. Okay, yeah, they definitely, yeah, this is a plot twist. So this person could have ghosted you, thought you would be there when they come back. They could, there could have been some sort of argument between you and them or someone that they're dealing with, especially if they got pulled in another direction due to some sort of spell work. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, this person felt like there was potential between you, you, you and them. I feel like they was playing hard to get or they felt like that way about you. This is like a backwards type of thing. And this person may feel like if, you know, if I just sit and wait, they'll come to me with the world card here. This is saying, accept what is, let go of what was and have faith in what will be. So, yeah, this person does not want to learn a lesson. They want to keep forming um, cords of attachment. I keep forgetting to link the smelly fish lady in the cards. I got to do that because some of y'all, that reading is going to apply to you. Somebody put you in a third party. Now, either you the smelly fish lady or somebody else is. Now, this could be a smelly fish dude, too. I mean, I I don't discriminate. But somebody different didn't learn their lesson. They're in, uh, they're in something like very, very toxic. You don't want to waste your time. My yacht wanted to come out. Look, you don't want to waste your time. This person is trying to slow you down. So for some of you feeling feeling your energy being drained, it's somebody from your past. Uh, it could be a past life soulmate, somebody that you were in a third party with, whether if you know it or not. Yeah, this was a karmic lesson for you. This is somebody that will always keep someone on the side. Okay. Yeah, skill manipulation. Look at this. The mind fuckery. This is what they did. Okay. This person could also abuse drugs that have been coming out. And I feel like when they abuse drugs, they do weird shit okay like spell work i'm just gonna keep it honest somebody could also astral travel and, and i heard lucid dreaming yeah so i feel like somebody like had i ain't gonna lie like some bomb sex with somebody and ghosted them like this is this person's mo why is heart ache here heart chakra like you're dealing with somebody that doesn't love uh very easily here could be a Sagittarius, could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini, or a Cancer, or have something to do with them. Okay, this person could have mothers, mother issues. They may have, may not have been nature, nature, nurtured. Somebody may need to go out in nature. I know I do. Somebody may need to get grounded. That may be the message here. This person was off balance. Higher self. Off key, kilter, what is that? Oh, I finally realized when I turned off the camera for Libra reading. You may want to check that out because Libra, you showing up. Was it Libra or was it Cancer? It could be Libra or Cancer. I don't know. But in one of those readings, 
somebody was delivered delivered <laughs> if you don't know what i'm talking about check those reading out why is higher self in reverse so somebody was sleeping around you know this is a little i will sleep with you for housing energy okay they could have purposely gotten someone pregnant mm, yeah this person could have purposely gotten someone pregnant because they have that codependent energy. Um, this person that they got pregnant could have been very jealous. Or they're jealous of you. This is somebody very disrespectful. They're draining. Like the only time they really get along is when they have a sex. And it's because most of the time they're high. I mean, I'm just plot twists. Yeah, go with your gut. They didn't use their intuition. They knew that they shouldn't. I feel like you wouldn't... Mm, they knew they shouldn't have been with this person. I feel like you weren't available for this person at one point. And, you know, they may have decided that they were going to teach you a lesson here. So they went to, for lack of a better word, tramp. They went to the tramp. Somebody that knows you or knows of you. The opportunist. Somebody that's that's been waiting to snake you, I'm I'm getting. Ooh, could be a mother of a child, could be a child. Hmm, who knows? What is this fear? Oh, mm, Sagittarius energy. So whatever energy that they sent to you, guess what? It went completely bad. <laughs> now they like they can't get rid of it. Like they uh, this person is is they didn't learn their lesson. So they were trying to send you negative thoughts, make you fearful. Okay. Somebody was also trying to make you jealous. This person didn't go with their gut. Now they can't get rid of this person. That for some of you, they chose over. But you let them go. You definitely let them go. Yeah, look, look, look. look. They dealing with somebody that's suicidal. This person, person plays, this person plays Russian roulette with their lives, other people's lives. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you, look at that. Google magic backfire. You work for me. Oh, oh, no. That was my evil laugh, by the way. I don't know, but whatever. Somebody's in sicko mode. Sicko, psycho. I don't know. Whatever they did, the Google magic backfired. I remember somebody told me I could look for a better title than Google magic. If you don't get diva gone. But, uh, yeah, somebody is... <sighs> Suffering the consequences of their actions, or they will be. They can't sleep, okay? They could also be having stomach issues. Again, somebody could be pregnant. They could be going through a very harsh pregnancy. Okay, so one of the other things that... Man, I did not want to say this. Some of you, you... A, a couple of years ago, I was talking about miscarriages that were induced by spare work. This has something to do with that. Okay. So if you're watching this, that's not going to resonate with anybody. Even if you don't have, like, if you can't have children, some of you may have um, experienced some heavy bleeding, like a miscarriage type of thing. Okay. It, I'm hearing that it was symbolic. Like somebody was trying to take your energy, take your your essence, essentially trying to use your fetus, your womb or something to manifest, like to manifest a child or to manifest your ideas. But they didn't go with their gut. They didn't go with their gut about this person. Balance is definitely being restored. OK, so, yeah. Yeah, balance is being restored. That this book goes in with that Sagittarius energy. OK, it's about knowledge. Knowledge of self, for me as a reader, Sagittarius energy, abundance. This is somebody that secretly, um, this person secretly wants to be single, but I heard somebody is gay too. I don't, somebody need to check out the cancer reading. That's all I got to say. Any um, other messages before we part out of here? Somebody could be having a heart attack. I'm just going to keep it on it. Okay, so we have surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet, meditative moments. 
Focus on stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too. And your life will flow more easily. Okay, so somebody is just off, right? They're trying to keep a phoenix from rising, but you're just coming out. You know what I'm saying? You're coming out of hell with your wings on fire. Like somebody sent you through I, some traumatic shit. I heard traumatized. <clears throat> Whatever they sent you through, they're definitely going through it with this person. Because this person is teaching them a lesson that you couldn't teach them. But the wise one grow within your own current situation. Yeah. You didn't you you like boundaries or surrender to setting limits. Okay. So I feel like you definitely somewhere along the line you said no to this person and they chose someone else, and that was the beginning of their karmic downfall. I'm hearing karmic retribution. So, yeah, you're dealing with somebody that does not want to be a generational curse curse breaker. They're, com they're comfortable in their toxicity with the elder energy move beyond ancestral patterns. This is somebody that repeats the sins of their fathers, uncles, mothers, whatever. They're just, they're, they're not tapped into their intuition and they don't want to be. This is somebody that's going to miss you and not tell you. There's nothing you can gain from this but heartache, okay? Until or if this one, this person wants to heal. But for some of you, it's not going to happen. So you're going to have to use your intuition. So you need to surrender these outdated beliefs about yourself or about people. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. I hope this reading helps someone. Pay attention to the synchronicities. I'll see you later.